Hello! Here is another video from Simply Studies. These videos help you understand the basics. For great scores, press subscribe now and visit our website. Today we will do basic averages. Average uh, is also a popular topic in GMAT Quant. So let's understand why is an average. Average, as you might know, is equal to sum of all terms divided by the number of terms. So this is average of some terms. For example, there's a question. What's the average of 34, 40, and 28? So how many terms are there? Three. So we'll add these three and then divide it by how much? Three. Yes. So how much does it give you? 102 divided by 3 equals 34. That's your answer. Okay? Let's move on to more properties of averages. In a list of numbers, the average is always more than the smallest number and less than the largest one. See? For example, which of the following cannot be the average of 12, 38, 5, 67, 102, 39, 24, and 13. So if the available choices, if you look at the choices, we are not calculating the averages. Average at the moment, but we just find, try, to, try to find out which of them cannot be the average, technically. So out of all these numbers, 48, 39, 72, and 106, and 50, this 106 is more than the largest number in the list given. It means this one cannot be the average. Okay? Let's do another question. The average of A plus B is 2. If A is equal to 3, what's B equal to? Okay, so we convert this into mathematical language. So we say, okay, average of A plus B, that is A plus B divided by 2, is 2. Okay which gives you the sum of a plus b equals 4. Now we sub in the value of a that is 3. That gives us the value of b which is equal to 1. Okay, that was easy. Now in case of equally spaced numbers the average is the middle number. For example this if you look at these five numbers 31, 33, 35, 37, 39 all of them are equally spaced. So what should be the average? The middle number. It means 35 is the average. Okay. Let's do another list. Now 43, 37, 39, 45, 47, 41. What's the problem with this list? This is not in order. Whenever we are applying this rule, the numbers should be in order. So we rearrange them. Yes, now it's in order, 37, 39, 41, and all of them are equally spaced. So what's the middle number? But this is an even number of terms. So there's no middle number as such. So what do we do? The middle two numbers, 41 and 43, we take the average of that, which gives us 42. That's the average. Okay, so this was easy. Instead of adding them and dividing them by 6, which will also give you the same answer. Okay, let's do another problem. The average age of three boys is 18 years with the average of addition of another boy in the group. The new average is 18.5. How old is the new boy? Okay. So there are two methods of doing this. The first method is find out the differences in sums. What's the original sum? There were three boys, 18 years average age. So the original sum must be 18 times three, that is 54. And new sum is 18.5 is the new average, and there are four boys, so it gives you, it gives you for 74. It means this 44 became 74 just because of the arrival of the new boy. That's his age, the difference. It means the newcomer's age is 20 years. There's another method of doing it, which is comparatively an easier method, which with less calculations involved. That is, we try to find out what's the change in the average because of the newcomer. So we see there's a positive change of 
0 0.5 0 0.5 years have been added to the average and this is because of the new boy so the newcomer's age must be his original age which is the average age of everybody else which is 18 plus the change that he made in the total four boys so four boys multiplied by 0 0.5 is the total change he made to he must be older so that is 4 times 0 0.5 is 2 it means his age must be 20 years so his own age plus the change that he brought to all of them okay these are some of the basics of averages there are even harder questions which we'll do in our extended program and there are some problems also attached with this file you should do those problems and see your understanding of averages okay thank you for today